in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your your own personal web space on the Strauss uh, slash Copeland uh, computer that lives on main campus in Newark. Um, this that machine is is on the internet 24 24 hours a day so anyone can access it uh, and will be able to view your pages once they're once they're loaded on that machine but we have to set up a, a directory on that machine in your own space to get it going. Now to do so we're going to make use of the SSH secure shell client that we installed earlier in a previous uh, video I showed how to do that. If you don't have the the secure shell, the SSH client installed then you're going to want to do that before you move forward on this one. So assuming you've got it installed, well, I'm just double clicking it the icon on the desktop and I'll just do a quick connect because it's got that whole connect together there, connect and it asks me for my password. And at this point we don't need this thing. At this point <clears throat> I'm, I'm at the command prompt here. So hopefully your command prompt reads bash. If it doesn't then you'll want to refer to a, an earlier video uh, in this series that that sh shows how to to get your login shell changed to bash which would be beneficial. You'll like that better. Alright so one we're gonna we're gonna learn a lot of uh, commands in Unix but one of the ones that I guess is at this moment kind of the most important would be ls which is a directory listing it performs. So I just typed in ls and I hit enter and what I see here is a public HTML folder right here. I know this is going to look funny to you guys right now, but it'll it'll start it'll get better as we work with it. It's it's likely that you don't have that folder right now, and that's what it is we're trying to get set up. So we need to create that folder, and we need to get the permissions set on it so that the outside world can see that folder. So the university has very generously provided us with a little script that we can run that will do all of that for us, take the, the torture out of that. So I'm going to just swap over to a page here that contains a command, this one right here, that we want to use. Now I'll have this command at the in the description below the video. So you can copy paste it from the description. So I'm going to go back to my SSH client here. There it is and I'm going to just paste that command right there and then you would hit enter. Okay, I'm not going to do that because I already have everything set there and I don't want to mess anything up. So once you do that if you click if you uh, type in ls enter you should now hopefully if all went well see a folder here called public html alright so what I'd like to do is change to move into that folder and then see what's inside that folder so there's another Unix command cd change directory which uh, will help us do that so we'll do cd space and then the name of the folder we want to change into the name of the directory we want to fold into public underscore html now Unix is case sensitive unlike Windows so a capital P in public will not work here. Uh, Unix is going to complain that it can't find that directory. So make sure it's all lowercase with an underscore. And then enter. And we get nothing from Unix, it appears. And that happens because Unix doesn't respond unless there's a problem. So when it's a good thing when there's, when there's no response. That means there was no issue. So if we do an ls now, we'll see the contents of the public HTML folder which we are now inside of. Okay, so I have a number of files in this thing already. Yours is probably empty. So we want to create one file here so we can test this and make sure it's all working properly. So we're going to use a text editor remotely. We're going to use one on Strauss through SSH and the uh, text editor we'll use is called Pico. Pico lives on Strauss in Newark. So Pico space and let's call it test, I'm going to call it test2 because I already have one, I see there's one in my directory already called test.html so I'm going to call this one test2.htmlhtml 
M L and just hit enter and the text editor opens up and it's waiting for us to enter some text so I'm going to just say something like I don't know, it doesn't matter Use a test from all right so that is the text I I'm going to use as a test so it's nice if you put your name in there so you can see if it's if it is in fact it verifies for you that it is in fact the file that you wrote so notice in the in the uh, the Pico text editor down here at the bottom of the text editor there are a number of commands that you can issue from within the text editor itself and so one of them or a couple of them here there's a couple of them that are very that are very useful but um, exit control X and write out control O that little caret there is control so if you do control and an O then it's going to write the buffer onto the disk so that, that that file now exists on Strauss. The same with exit. I'm going to do an exit just so you can see what will happen. So you would think if I'm going to do control X right now I would lose my buffer. I would lose everything but um, Pico is going to ask me do I want to save this buffer and I'm going to answer yes. And then it's going to say, "Do you want to save it as test2.html?" And I say, I just hit enter. If I want, if I didn't want it saved as test2.html, I could back up through that and change something. It would, it would call it something else, whatever I chose. So I want it to be called that way, that number, that name. All right. And so once again, we're back at the command prompt. We're out of the editor and in the command at the command prompt. And there has not been uh, a complaint of any sort. So if we do an ls now we're going to see test2.html that file got created for us so that is a web page a very simple web page but a web page nonetheless a page accessible from the web and so let's just see let's just verify that that's why we're doing this is to verify that so I'm going to jump up here to my browser again and I'm going to type udel.edu um, don't use www. It won't work right. Udel.edu. No www. Slash tilde, which is the the upper left hand side of your keyboard above the tab key. You'll have to do a shift, and that that key that's above a tab is called a tilde. So it's tilde. Your username is what you want to type in here, and that just means W. Boyer's home directory slash and then there's a file there that we want to that we want to check out it's called test2.html so I'm gonna I'm gonna type that in there test2 dot html and if all goes well when I hit enter we're gonna see that file that we typed up yep there we have it So there, notice there's, I mean, this is a very simple web page here. There's no format, there's no structure, no style, no behavior, there's, there's nothing. It's just plain text. So a browser will display plain text, and that's what we're verifying here. We're, we're actually more concerned with whether or not we were able to reach that file from the internet. And it's verified. So we will move forward. Now on subsequent videos, we'll look at how we might enter some HTML code to do something interesting with this web page.